time, much more short than me, so I'm going to keep going. Let's talk about uh, war crimes. Human rights groups, as well as the UN, hum, UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, have accused Hamas of committing war crimes. But they've also accused Israel of war crimes in Gaza, too, which you blame on Hamas. So I have a simple question for you. If Hamas gunmen were hiding out in a school in Tel Aviv or an apartment block in Haifa, would you be okay with the Israeli Air Force dropping bombs on those buildings, leveling them, killing the innocent Israelis inside in order to get the Hamas gunmen? Would you do that? But you're right in your question. Of course, Hamas hides behind uh, students and uh, children. That's the whole policy. That's why we've had the, the casualties we've had. Hamas deliberately embeds itself, as you said in your question, amongst civilians. The fact that they buried themselves under the Shifa hospital in, in, in Gaza City. Uh, not one hospital, but a whole series of hospitals. They well, with respect to not answering my question, them into military installations. Would you bomb? I am answering your would you question. Bomb school, uh, would you bomb schools and would you bomb schools and houses in Israel if Hamas militants were believed to be under them and kill Israeli human Let's shields in the process? We don't deliberately kill anyone. That's that's not a fair question. What we are trying to do is eliminate this. Okay, threat. would you Just accidentally ISIS, kill Israeli human shields? I'll ask you a very simple question. Uh, we would wouldn't you want to accidentally kill anyone. We wouldn't accidentally. No, we Understood. wouldn't accidentally want, want to kill anyone. Understood. But can I tell would you, you when the West fought ISIS when in the, Israel? When the West, when the West fought uh, uh, ISIS in, in uh, Fallujah and in Mosul, also there ISIS used uh, uh, human shields. They actually used a hospital, I believe, in Mosul. You probably know this as well as I do. I do. And, and, and the, the West was fought. Wrong, think, and the West was fought. Oh, wrong, but I, I think, think it's actually, I, I think uh, America uh, did the right thing. You had to defeat so, these brutal again. terrorists. Would you apply and, the But you're saying to me... In Israel, it's a simple question. You ask, we wouldn't allow them. We wouldn't allow them to take over a school in the first place. We'd send in special okay, so forces and we'd, we'd take out the terrorists. I know you're over. On so there you go, folks. He just admitted that they would not bomb a 12-story building if Hamas took control of a, say, a residential building or a school in Israel, in Tel Aviv, they would not bomb that building. He just admit they would rather send in special operations to clear out the building and not just bomb it because clearly he just proved that he believes that the lives, the innocent lives of, of Jews are much more sacred than the innocent lives of Palestinian Arabs. That's why they just indiscriminately bomb buildings, residential buildings, hospitals, bakeries, humanitarian camps in Gaza because they can. And what is a Palestinian life compared to the lives of Jews? So if Hamas was hiding in Israel, in Tel Aviv, and they were using Jews as human shields, there is no bombing. There is no throwing bombs from a jet plane and destroying that area and that building. No, he said it's special operations. They go in and clear out the building because that way you can protect the lives of civilians much better. But it's a different standard. It's a double standard when it comes to Gaza. When it comes to Gaza, it's like bomb it. Who gives a crap about civilians? Just bomb the hell out of it. This proves the double standards and this proves that they value the lives of Jews much more than the lives of Arabs and Palestinians because, after all, their own minister compared the Palestinians to animals. Place. We'd send in special okay, so forces and we'd, we'd take out the terrorists. I know you're over on. You're, you're I did answer your question. I did answer your question. I did answer your question. You, you what did you say? I did not answer your question. Did you didn't answer, answer. I didn't answer it the way. I didn't answer it in the way you wanted me to answer it. That's the okay. problem. I didn't answer it the way you wanted me to answer it. We would send in special forces and we would neutralize last, the terrorists. That's what we've done in the past. Last question for you. You know we've done it that way. Yes. Last question. So why didn't you do it that way when it came to all of the residential buildings, the bakery, the hospitals? Why didn't you do it that way when you even bombed a Christian church? Why, why didn't you do it that way when it comes to Gaza? You only did it only with Al Shifa Hospital after so much pressure from the international community. You only did that with Al Shifa Hospital. You didn't do it with the you know 50% of the buildings you blew up in Gaza. 
you didn't do it with that. So again, why didn't you do it with that? Why didn't you use the same standard and use special operations? So folks, the conclusion is this. If Hamas is using human shields in Tel Aviv and took over a building, it's sending special operations. It's not bombing the building from a jet airplane and destroying that whole building, having hundreds of people, hundreds of Jews trapped inside. They will never do that. And he admitted they wouldn't do that. And they'd send in special operations. But if that 12-story building exists in Gaza and Hamas is using it as human shields, they and there are hundreds of Palestinian families in there, they just bomb it. They just bomb it all the way to the ground. They don't care whether innocent lives die, so many innocent lives die, which proves that there is racism ethnic cleansing and the targeting of civilians and the valuing of Jewish life much more than the value of Palestinian lives. And this is why they're losing in the internet in the eyes of the international community. They're losing this war from a moral and ethical standard.